Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadrax, and today I'm going to be showing you how to quit all open apps at once on OS X. So for this guide, we'll be using Automator, so you can find it in Spotlight. I'm going to double click here. All right, Automator is now open, so I'm going to tap on New Document. And from here, you're going to select Application. So I'm going to click on Application and then click on Choose. Now you're going to go to this list here and scroll all the way down until you find quit all applications and then you want to double click it'll create this window here so if you want all applications to quit without it asking you to save changes uncheck this but if not keep this checked so that way an application that has not been saved will ask you to save it before it closes you can also add an application to do not quit so all other applications will close except for the ones in the list so for this I'm just going to add messages so I'm going to go to Applications, scroll down, and find Messages. And here it is. So now I'm going to press Add. And it won't close Messages, but it will close every other application. All right, so now we're done. We're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Save. Uh, I'm going to call the application Quit. You can call it whatever you want. And then press Save. All right, now I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to open Finder. And I'm going to go to Applications, and I'm going to find Quit. And so here it is. And now I'm going to drag it onto my dock. So as you can see down here, I have several applications open, including Finder, Messages, Chrome, iTunes, iPhoto, and Terminal. So now I'm just going to click on Quit. And you can see that all my applications are closing. OK, now every application is closed except for Messages. Uh, it'll take around a few seconds, depending on how many applications you have open but they will slowly close without you having to close each one yourself. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadget Hacks. All right, thanks, guys.